This is the first time it's ever flowered on display in the UK. Pseudohydrosmy gabonensis is incredibly rare. And when the plant isn't producing this massive flower, it's instead growing a very thin, spindly, single leaf which you can see from there is divided into a bunch of little leaflets. Uh, the Pseudohydrosmy is a member of the Aroid or Araceae group, and some of you at home might be familiar with this little guy, the Anthurium or Flamingo flower, that's commonly available and many of you might have in your collections at home. And you wouldn't think that these two would be related on initial look, but if you look closely at this sort of central uh, spike in the center of the flower here, if you were to get right up close to this guy, you would see that same sort of structure growing up through the centre of this big old tube, which kind of reveals their genetic relationship. So Pseudohydrosmy has been classified by the IUCN Red List as endangered in the wild. Because it grows as a tuber underneath the ground, there's not too much visible uh, throughout most of the year, and it's very easy for the land to be cleared free of vegetation for agriculture, urban development, and for a lot of these guys to be removed alongside. Over the last year or so, Q's been expanding their collection of geophytic araceae. There's always the Titan Arum, which absolutely everybody loves, that we've got working on 50, I think, at the moment. But yeah, the more of these guys that we can have and the more variety, the better ex-situ conservation and the more we can show off to the public.